Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my corner of the internet once again. My name is Jason, and today I'm once again pleased to bring you some more Arma 2 Warfare in Pakistan. Oh, I feel so good to be back, uh, you know, recording and playing some, you know, proper warfare mode. One thing I, I noticed that, um, one, when I loaded the game, it actually spawned me back at HQ. So it, it appears that wherever I happen to be, uh, it won't matter in between recording sessions. So uh, it's going to toss me back to the HQ every time. That's a little bit unfortunate. Uh, and what I might do in the future is try to uh, maybe get a little bit closer back to where I was before, before I uh, jump right back on into the action. But uh, yeah, that's how it is. Uh, now, it, uh, it appears that in the, the period of time that I was taking the snapshot for the server, uh, Sultan Safe had been uh, taken by Blue Force, so we already have that, and it looks like our guys are making a move towards Toids, uh, uh, making a move towards Loy Manara, which is where we are going to be going. So uh, I'm going to get all my guys to join up with me, and let's see where are we situated. We are down here, so we need to be heading mostly north. I'll probably follow the road follow the, the road north and then hook a bit uh, east uh, there's my uh, my bike and it hasn't disappeared so that that's actually a really good sign uh, where are my guys anyways uh, grid zero seven two let me see so that puts them at zero seven two oh nine so they're a little bit above me. Yeah, so they're, they're just a little bit north of me. Oh no, my bike! What happened to my bike? Famous last words. <laughs> I was like, oh great, my bike's, my bike's uh, still there, I can use it. No, just kidding! The bike died. I can't use it. Alright, oh there's my guys. All right, so um, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to begin our assault on Loy Manara. And now uh, there was something I wanted to to cover. I'm not sure if I was entirely clear about it last time, um, but just in case, right now, uh, we, I didn't really go into what this game mode was. This is essentially a it's sort of a three way war, uh, as you probably already noticed. But we're going to go ahead and cover that anyways. Uh, I'm currently on blue four, which is the U light vehicle supply constructed. Let's go. Let's go ahead and back up a little bit here and get ourselves a vehicle. There we go. That's a. I think that's a, a better idea than trying to hoof the whole hoof it all on foot. So we're on blue four, which is basically the. Uh, I'm going to say. I know it's U.S., but I'm trying to. Uh, I'm looking at the the uniforms, and that's typically. Uh, the camel that you have in... Oh man, I can't even remember now. Uh, it's been a while since I, I've played uh, the Churners. I think that's actually a... I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just going to keep my mouth shut, just in case I make myself look like a fool. But anyways, we're the US, and uh, I actually forgot to pay attention to who was the the Op4 team. I actually think it's Russia. but And then in the middle, we've got uh, our insurgents, our resistance. So we're going to go ahead and purchase units. We're going to get a... It's only got a transport capacity of three, which is not good because we need, you know, to be able to carry all of our, our troops. So I'm going to go ahead and get uh, a truck. We're just going to get a truck for now. Uh, it's going to come with a driver. I'm going to assign him to his own team, and he's going to basically stay as the driver. And he'll be sort of our chauffeur around Takistan. So basically, yeah, we've got those those our three sides and uh, up four, uh, basically the red the, the red team, if you will, Seven. is uh, up to the north. And we're down to the south, and all the towns are currently owned by the resistance. So we've got to basically fight the resistance for control of the town, and then ultimately in the end, once we've built up our resources and everything, we're it's probably going to come down to a straight up clash between blue four and up four, and I think that's when we're going to start to see that really the um, some of the intense fighting. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
All right, there's our truck. All right, so I'm going to put number seven. I'm going to ass assign him to Team Green. Seven is Team Green. And I'm going to tell Team White. Team White bought that truck. Team White bought that truck. Uh, make sure it's unlocked. Yeah, it's unlocked. Ready. Waiting. Come on, guys. Everyone aboard. You on? Come on, move, move! All right, now I'm gonna get in. All right, so let's take a look where we want him to drop us off. Um, I think here at least would be safe. Yeah, so we'll say, move us up there. It's sort of a gas station area up here, close to Loimanar. I don't know what kind of resistance they're, they're running into. Uh, so far, it looks like they're moving in fairly unopposed, but you know, that might change once we start seeing some of these, uh, icons blink out. Alright, so he's driving us. There we are. Now, in uh, testing, Loiminara actually ended up being uh, an area that uh, our team had a really hard time capturing. So that's why I'm a little bit puzzled right now that, uh, squad number 15 seems to be just fine. Huh. Alright, maybe we can get a little bit closer. Now, I noticed the airfield. It's got a sort of triangle here. I actually think that if we go to the airfield, uh, maybe later on in the uh, in our campaign, we may actually be able to get some fixed-wing aircraft, which is something that has been uh, hardly even touched on in any, uh, any of my video series. So, uh, And it's been something that's been requested quite a bit, so that, that'll be kind of cool. Uh, seven, actually get us just a little bit closer. Seven, move to three, one o'clock. Not too close. Yeah, because there is going to be some resistance. And uh, as we saw in the, my, our last uh, assault on Sultan Safe, if uh, you got like a machine gun nest set up along the road, that will really, you know, that'll ruin your day. So I'm hoping to, you know, kind of avoid that but it does look like our guys are making their way in uh, fairly unopposed hey seven you need driving les lessons come on let's go All right, thank you, number seven. I'd like you to go ahead and stop moving. Seven, stop. Roger. All right, everybody. Team White, dismount. Get out. Roger. Ready. Waiting. Standing by. Waiting. I don't even hear any shooting. Oh, <laughs> never mind. I stand corrected. All right, seven. I actually want you to pull back. I don't want you getting hit. Uh, we are going to need a ride later, so seven. Move to you're lucky. Seven uh, I would tell him to get out of the truck, but I don't want the truck to, you know, go ahead and explode. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Park the truck right there. Whoa! Okay, never mind. Just kidding. <laughs> Uh, he would have been dead anyways. I told him to turn around and get out of there, but uh, as he was turning around, uh, I think he took a tank round. Okay. So the enemy has a tank. <laughs> wow, that was... Uh, <laughs> flew like right past our heads. All right, so I guess Loy Manara is going to be a bit of a, a challenge to take. 12 o'clock far. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, crawl on in. Wow. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Let's try to see if I get, I've got a visual on anything. I 
I see tracer fire. I don't see any contacts, and I do not see the tank from where I'm at. So I'm wondering where was that tank situated? Because I saw like the red flash. I'm assuming that was a tank. It wasn't a rocket. All right, let's try to get to these rocks at least. I don't like just being out in the open like this. Let's uh, yeah, let's let's sort of. Get over to these rocks. At least it's some cover, right? All right. Now I've um pretty sure what is it? Green tracers are we're gonna say resistance. Our friendlies have red tracers. Yeah. So that's friendly, and these they're taking fire from over here. Oh, I see. Is I think I see someone at the base of that fence, but I'm not sure. Oh, there's the tank. I see the tank. Okay. Um. Yeah, we can't just keep. Uh, we can't keep moving forward. We ha we can't move forward at all. That tank is basically. Whoa! Get down! Get down! Okay, I'm gonna tell everybody just to stay down. Everyone, go prone. Stay prone. Okay, uh, I'm, we, we've already established that I'm not really good with the rocket, but I feel like we kind of, they've got two tanks? Oh, three tanks? Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Okay, we've got three tanks. I really don't want to draw their attention because all they have to do is roll up here and shoot us. Now, we do have some rockets, but uh, like I said, let's, uh, what? It's me and three. They've got, what, three tanks. Uh, you know, if we get a, a lucky shot, you know, a good shot, we'll be able to uh, disable, you know, two of the tanks. Uh, however, there's a very good chance we'll maybe take out one of them and then the other two will just sort of steamroll us. Uh. Yeah, our advance has been halted right here. Let me let me take a look at the map. Yep, just as I suspected. We have some troops up uh, that have moved forward, but I, I knew things were too easy. I knew it. I was like, no, no, no. We're gonna something's gonna happen. Loy Minar has been a a real pain in the the tests. Uh, so we have a tank over there. I'm trying to think of the best angle of attack. Uh, if we can get a little bit closer, maybe if we can get into the airport area, we can... I can get close enough to at least one of the tanks that we can rocket it. Um... So we've got friendlies over there. All right. We're going to try moving up. Is there a break in the fence? Okay, everybody. Oh, take cover. I'm going to move up uh, by myself. I'm going to tell my guys to stay back. Uh, I'm going to do something daring here. I'm going to uh, I want I need to see if there's a break in the fence somewhere that we can get in here. Um Actually, is there a way to... No. I, I suppose I would need pliers or something to cut a hole. Oh! Okay, we have a hole in the fence right here. Alright, everybody... Oh, return to formation. Alright. Um, there's a break over there. Yeah, we're gonna circle around. Command center constructed. Okay, now that that's a, that's a nice uh, upgrade that we've got. Basically, what that means is I can purchase units anywhere on the map now. So let's say I need. Uh, we'll see. Let's say I need some anti-tank. Anti-tank. 
let's go ahead and purchase units and I can actually go rifleman AT and buy him and he'll he'll spawn back at the HQ but he'll he'll run on over to us uh, so actually let's go ahead and do that now let's get two AT guys because we were gonna need some heavier firepower to be able to take on these tanks and as you can see seven has just uh, joined the team <laughs> seven uh, we'll say version two because the first one totally got smoked and uh, eight as well so we're gonna go ahead seven and eight you guys don't you guys don't need to be in danger mode you can just be aware uh, and you guys just need to Seven, join up with us. To formation. I think they're going to default, though, to danger mode just because the rest of their squad is, so it's going to take them a while to get to us. Okay. Enemy. 